Well, what's up YouTube world? Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be working on uh, one of many projects that's coming up. Um, and uh, today we're actually going to be working on a 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 uh, gas job. It's got the 318 in it. Um, it has the typical, um, what they like to call, uh, steering walk. So you're driving down the road and you pretty much are like this to keep it in the road. I can imagine that's a pain in the butt. Um, I've drove these trucks a lot myself and really anything over 50 mile an hour, it'll wear you out to drive it for 45 minutes. So, uh, thanks to some YouTube videos, uh, I did find out that there is an adjustment on the top of the gearboxes. Um, and they say uh, just a, a quarter turn at a time, most likely only one quarter turn will actually solve that issue. It will tighten everything up a little bit on the inside to take the slop out just enough to where it's tolerable because you don't want to over tighten it. You don't want to, you know, you know, you don't want to go turn it too many times and supposedly it'll completely wear the thing out. And then next thing you know, then when it takes a crap, you're really in a mess because it's going to be way worse than it actually is now. And then you're looking at replacement, um, which there is, um, there is another company out there. Uh, I think redhead something redhead gear. I think it's redhead gears or something or gearboxes, uh, that specifically make, um, gearboxes for this truck which is pretty awesome and they do a good job with them so that that may also be an option but uh so we're gonna make the adjustment on the gearbox and uh see if we can't take the slop out of the steering as i said it is a 2001 um and uh i would assume it's the uh, factory gearbox uh, of course you can't really see too much down this way so here we have uh the gearbox and I know it's going to be really hard to see what I'm doing here, but there is a nut right here and then the, the bolt that goes down through it has an Allen head uh, where you're, you can stick an Allen wrench in into the bolt. And what do you do? You just simply loosen this nut and then turn, well tighten the Allen, the Allen bolt a quarter turn and uh, and then tighten up the nut. And then basically, uh, I'm, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to take it for a ride and see if that helped any. You're really not going to be able to tell, you know, see too well what I'm doing, but uh, let me just get up in there and let's see if I can get that thing to loosen for me. Uh, okay, that was no big deal. Okay, now my thing is, all right, so got to hold on to the Allen bolt because it's obviously, it's loosening as I turn this nut. So naturally, if I adjust it down a quarter turn, it's going to be right where it actually was before I even loosened it once I tighten it back up, which makes no sense at all, right? <laughs> All right, let's see here. Well, hang on a second. I had to end up moving the camera because I really needed the space that it was setting in uh, to make the adjustment. But uh, simply what I did, um, uh, well, I turned the uh, the Allen bolt, uh, I, I guess you probably about a quarter turn. And then of course you have to still hold that with the Allen wrench and then tighten the nut back up. And now I'm gonna go and take it for a ride and see if that helped any. So let's go take it for a spin, see if this works. So after the adjustment, uh, it seems like, I think that may have worked. Because it seems like it may have just a little bit more play in it still, just a, just a hair bit, but it's definitely not like it was. That's for sure. So. Uh, I think that is an accurate way to uh, to take the slop out of your out of your steering. What's coming up on my channel? Um, I've got several projects coming up. I know this winter has been terribly slow. Uh, it's been terribly slow for my channel. Uh, I know you guys have been expecting 
uh, probably a lot more projects out of me and everything and just with the weather and uh, actually a job change and um, just general life itself uh, I just have not been able to get behind the camera and do much of anything um, even these little projects but uh, let me show you <clears throat> well just a briefing of what is coming up here soon um, so as I have featured uh, the 69 Fairlane on the channel before <clears throat> this was my dad's car but it is, it is now my brother's car and he is sending me some parts for this uh, I think we're gonna do an intake and a four barrel carburetor and maybe a pretty decent tune-up um, maybe an oil change and things like that so we're gonna we're gonna do a good bit to this car and uh, you know because you know it, it, it this 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 is a great car uh, to work on I mean this would make the ultimate street rod I wish I had the money I wish the car belonged to me and you know I do a lot of uh, a lot of different things with it myself um, now as far as the old 78 Ford I've got a pile of parts coming for the Ford uh, let's see now you'd have to scroll back down through uh, a lot of my videos in the channel um, I put brakes on the front of this thing and uh, you know uh, calipers rotors pads wheel bearings um, let's see what else did I do you know seal all that good stuff uh, brake booster uh, master cylinder all that well and then I drove the truck and the proportion valve seized up it caused the uh, both front calipers to literally lock up I would say pretty evenly because I was honing on it to get the thing back here to the garage and I let go of the steering wheel and it still went straight and it was both front were smoking at the time. So I ended up burning up my rotors and pads so I had to replace those. I finally got around to replacing those a while back uh, but I have not drove the truck since because I don't want to burn up the brakes again because I ended up having to buy the rotors again because they weren't under warranty and those rotors only had five miles on them and burn them up <laughs> so it was awful. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I already bought a uh, proportion valve. You know what? <clears throat> Let me come on over here and I will show you. Uh, there is a page on Facebook. I think it's F100 World. Um, those guys that run the page and all the people that are on that page, all the F100 guys, uh, they are all absolutely information jam-packed. And uh, one of the things that they recommended that I get, since you cannot really get a factory proportion of valve for these old trucks, is I'll get a brass one. Uh, this is an aftermarket one. This is made exactly the same as the factory one, but it's brass. Um, probably twice as heavy, twice as durable, and um, should be no issues with this. So they recommended me to get the brass one, so I got the brass one for the truck. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, uh, a stainless steel um, already bent brake line kit for the entire truck. So I'm going to go ahead and pull every, all the brake lines out of it and completely replace all the brake lines. Put the new proportion valve on. I have everything to replace uh, the brakes in the rear. It has drums in the rear, um, you know, wheel cylinders, the shoes, all the springs, every, all, all the good stuff. So I'm going to replace all that in the rear. I haven't done that yet. so. And then, um, and then it'll be ready to actually, well, move around a little bit better than it does than I move it now. But the radiator also has a few pinhole leaks. It's, you know, the radiator's been in there probably since 78. So it leaks everywhere. So I'm going to put a radiator in there. I'm gonna, you know, get a nice aluminum radiator. Uh, I'm undecisive if I'm gonna do electric fans yet on it or not. Or if I'm just going to stick with the regular, uh, you know, fan clutch fan or whatever, whatever kind of fan is on that thing. I think it's just regular fan. Um, you know, and of course, if you're going to do radiator, you know, uh, top and bottom hoses, uh, water pump. I'm going to go ahead and do the water pump. Um, and thermostat, of course. But before I switch the radiator and all that, I'm going to flush the engine out really, really well. So I'm going to do it right the first time. I'm only going to do it once. So that way when it goes back together, um, it should be ready. Uh, April is coming. Uh, literally the first car show of the season 
in my local area is going to be in April at uh, a local festival that we normally have here in town that we didn't get to have last year but as far as I understand everything's on schedule they're gonna have the car show again so I'm gonna have this at the car show at the Spring Mountain Festival so I gotta get it done I gotta get to it uh, you know everything you know I feel 100% confident in doing every bit of the work to it because I've done that stuff before on other vehicles except for the brake line kit I've never done a brake line kit on any vehicle before I hear it might be kind of a pain but you know what we're gonna have to tackle it because if I don't do it it ain't getting done right <laughs> so I'm going to do that and uh, and I may have a couple of small things uh, with um, I've got a 2008 Toyota Corolla that I bought brand new all right off the showroom floor and I still have it and still my daily driver uh, and I've never done anything really cool with it so I might do something nice with the car um, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet uh, I'm just I'm kind of brainstorming ideas for that car right now so maybe there'll be a little bit of something like that coming along um, and of course we are also going to uh, I will also film the uh, the car show over at the Spring Mountain Festival for you guys as well so it's gonna be the first one for everyone in this local area so I'm assuming it's probably going to be a pretty good turnout and everybody's gonna be tickle pink to be out with their cars <laughs> so <laughs> with that being said um, I want to thank everybody for tuning into my channel uh, and as I said stay tuned got a lot, a lot of projects coming up and uh, we'll see you guys in the next project <laughs>